Hey everybody, it's Gary here. I'm going to show you how I make the cheap toroid. Uh, a couple things you're going to need is a knife, a ruler, some 3 inch uh, dryer vents, what I use, and some foil tape, some scissors, and something that you're going to wrap around. Um, in this case, we got a 3 inch pipe. Alright, to start, I'm going to find the best end, which is here. And these require 12 inches, so. Um, push it together just a little bit, right there, and you don't want to go straight across because it's going to cook crooked, so you have to fix this. Right, after you get that cut, you want to make sure you bend over any sharp pieces from where you cut because that could affect your coil. So be careful, you will cut yourself with this. All right. that that. The next thing I do is uh, roll this out and find the length I need. One end, I always take and cut it like this, and I use this triangle to attach the wire. Right here, we got a little piece sticking out, so we're just gonna cut that off. All right, next, I'm gonna take this. Um, this side, I always put on the inside, right here. Hold that there. Wrap that around. And take and pull this out. Gentle, because you will smash this easy. Just pull that on around. Like so. And you'll see. from uh, back here somewhere but at 12 inches you'll get it around this 3 inch just perfect see I got some doubled up here this can be spread out That's where everything fits just right just like that All right. next thing I'm going to do is set this aside and straighten it out just like that. And make it nice and straight. Although it seems to want to get bent up when you peel this off. The best thing to do is just fold that back. You'll eventually be able to get a corner of it up. So once I got a corner up, hold that down. Without rebending it. But once I got that down, put this together like that, to where it fits nice. Set it down on the tape. Be gentle with it because you bend it up. tape on there and get it to stick and then bring this on around while holding it together stick it as you go it's kind of hard to get it to come out just perfect but it is just a cheap toroid Flatten all this out the best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll take and smash it in the groove a little bit. Just 
try to work out them wrinkles. Smash them down as best you can without messing up the toroid. Tweak it a little bit to make sure it's all straight. I'm pretty sure they all get a little warped up in shipping, but once you got that, see how it fits right over it. I mentioned this triangle piece. I'll tape this in there. Probably show that too, but use this to tape in there, or I'll show you another way to do. Um, the attachment of this copper wire to it. And I usually cut off excess that I don't need. That's plenty. I hold this in tight without pulling from there because it'll break. So, once I get that, I just take sandpaper down it. And it's just really the best way to, to get it all off. Some people probably use a lighter, and I've seen other examples of scissors. Sandpaper is the best, in my opinion. A lighter doesn't really clean it up, it just burns it. And you still have to use something to clean that off. So once you get that, like I said, you can either just place it in there, um, like so, and then tape it on. What I like to do is just bend this down like that. I don't know if you can see it. Bend that down and slide it down in one of the grooves like this. And it doesn't have to be anything special just as long as it's making a good connection to the toroid. And there you go. Now the breakout wire, it's usually taped to the box and you'll notice it's the same width as the box, it's 8 inches. Um, that's about the best length, but just simply slide it. There will be a sanded end on one, this is not one, it's, this is too short. It, it'll work, but it has a different output effect. So just slide it in the groove there to where you're nice and snug and getting a connection and that's all you need for that. And the breakout wire is mainly only for coils that require it, which would be the classroom two. It requires the breakout wire. Classroom one does not, um, and it will not change the performance having it on there. All right, that concludes the cheap toroid. There's nothing special about it. I use the same toroid for all the three-inch um, coils, and it seems to work just fine.